The Easy Menu template on Glide helps you create or update the menu of your restaurant. You can easily add, edit or delete any item, category, tag or even promotions from your menu. It gives your customers the option to have a look at your menu without downloading any PDFs or installing any apps. They just have to scan the QR code and they are ready to go. Here is how it works. In the menu, you'll find four tabs. Menu, Categories, Promos, and Info. The main menu tab has four sections. A search bar helps you quickly find any dish by this name or even any word included in the description. A top bar to show in evidence recommended dishes, maybe those you want to promote. Then you will find all the items from your menu organized by categories. You can have a general idea of what you have to offer. Then there is a footer. You can put any text that is important for you. Information like frozen products, allergies or any relevant information for your restaurant. The second tab is the categories tab. It shows the same menu in a different way, so your customer can start by searching category and then take a look at the dishes within that category. The third tab is the promotions tab, it shows all the promotions you currently have in your restaurant. Here you will find all the promotions and they include an image, a name, a detail or even a call to action button. The last tab is the information or about tab. It has all the information from your restaurant, like its name, phone number, website, hours, reservations, and social media profiles. Okay, now let's have a look at the admin features. It allows you to add, edit, or delete any item, tag, or category from your menu. When you have an administrator role, you will have a new tab on the menu. Let's have a look. It is the menu items list and it has three sections. On the top, you can add items, categories or tags. When you add a new item, you need to write basic information like name, description and price. The category is the only required field you need to add an item to your menu. Here, you can also have your tags. When you want to add an image to your menu, you have two options. You can upload it or you can use a link. To upload it, just select your file from your phone. If you want to use a link, you can have all your images in an external service like Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive. You just have to paste the link in here. At the end, you have two options. One, to add the item to the top bar so it will show in the suggestion bar and another for the availability of the item. When you open the new category screen, you will have the option to give it a name and you have the list of your current categories. If you want to edit name or delete one of those, you can tap on one of them. The tag screen works just as the category one. In this section, you will find all your dishes that are currently not available, so this cannot be seen in the main menu by your customers. Then you have all the items from your menu. They are grouped by category. If you want to edit one of these, you just have to click on that and you will have an edit icon on the top right corner. You can add or edit images, name, description, price, and everything as when you add a new item. You also have an availability toggle. If it's on, it will show in your main menu. The info tab adds an edit icon on the top right corner when you have an administrator role. 
It gives you the option to edit your name, address, phone number, email, website, reservations, hours, and social media profile. You can also enable or disable the website button, the reservation button, or your social media profiles button. In the reservation button, you can add any link to any booking system. You can even add a WhatsApp link so it will open the application and customers can talk to you and book directly. Then you will find social media profiles. You can paste an Instagram link or a Facebook link. The last section is the footer text. The easy menu template helps restaurants to offer their customers a digital menu experience. And it's easy for you to edit your own menu from the same app without even opening a spreadsheet.